It's a sizzling summer on Broadway with Tony winning shows on stage and new plays and musicals on the way. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Glad you're here. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Back to the Future, the musical is on Broadway this summer. It's a big privilege. I've really become aware of how many people want to just be Marty McFly in life, uh, let alone on Broadway. So uh, I, I, I hold that, that to a very high standard for myself, yes. It's funny, you know, it, it's, having seen the movie in 1985, of course, I was looking at it going, God, I wish I, I wish I were Michael J. Fox, because I thought I'm his age and thought, I, I wish I was that much of a great talent and great star and I, that, that opportunity to kind of do something like it or that, you know, we were all jealous. But if you had told me then I would have been had a chance to be able to do Doc Brown many years later, I would have said, OK, that actually sort of suits me more. I just have to wait quite a few years. So when I first read it, I was, I, I didn't even have to read it. I knew, you know, it's Doc Brown. I also knew that it was a good, it's a good fit for my style. We just cold read the script yesterday at a table read. The 1.21 gigawatts were already felt. I'm telling you, the electricity is there. This cast is out of sight. And when this man opened his mouth and he sang, it's only a matter of time. I was like, come on. <laughs> but the thing also is that this show is a love letter to the fans of Back to the Future. So if you love the, the movie, this is for you because you're going to see the movie and then some and you're going to really re-fall in love with it all over again. And we are so honored to be able to, to tell the story again. The, the way the film is structured and the musical is we jump around in time, which allows a fantastic opportunity to do 1950s classic Broadway numbers, but also 1985 pop. So you have this real um, disparity in songs and that each one is done so well that it, you get sort of like four or five musicals in one. Audiences can expect the, their favorite songs from the movie, some uh, Power of Love, some Johnny Be Good, but also there's like 16 brand new songs yep. that they've never heard before. And like he was saying, that all get to play around with different genres. Um, so it's really fun and exciting. People have said, don't you dare do that. Um, don't you mess with my movie. And um, it was, I think, forefront for all of us making this that we, if nothing else, at least aspire to capturing the feeling and the, the, the sensibility of the original film. Because without that, we wouldn't do it. We'd stop doing it. One of the most gratifying things is that everyone I speak to has said, oh my God, you know, it, it is not disappointed. This brought me right back. It brought me such joy. It, it's so, it's such great escapism. And it's, it's sort of both thrilling and as a huge heart. So I, I just think that people are gonna freak out over that, that element of it. And it's, it's just simple, great story, fun, and exciting to watch. And there's a car. That stuff to do with the car, like imagining that live in front of you, that's that's an irreplaceable experience. I mean, uh, it's it's just gonna blow people away. I I I, can't, I couldn't believe my eyes when I was watching it. 